Hi everybody, I'm Jess, and we're gonna be doing a really fun experiment today with some vinegar, baking soda, and these wonderful things right here, which are film canisters from back in the dinosaur ages before digital cameras. Um, for this experiment, we're gonna be making rockets out of these materials. Um, and to do that, we're gonna follow a really specific procedure. So what you're going to need to do is take the lid off of the canister, set it aside for now, and then find the well. So there's a little bit of a hole right in the middle of it, and we're gonna fill that hole with baking soda. So you take a scoop, put it in the well, and you don't want too much. I got a little bit too much there, so we'll scrape some off. And then, so it doesn't all fall out, you have to do something kinda gross, and you have to spit on your finger. Pat it down so it stays nice and tight. Excellent. For the next part of our experiment, we have to add the vinegar. So you want to fill your film canister about halfway up. you're ready to go. Before you do the rest of the procedure, it's really important that you put something on your face because these rockets can fly pretty fast and you definitely want to protect your eyes. Before we do the last part and finish our experiment, it's really important to make a hypothesis. A hypothesis is something in science where you make an if-then statement and it's kind of like a prediction or an educated guess about what's going to happen. So for example, you could say, Something like, if I put this on and flip it over so that the baking soda and vinegar mixes together, then, then you put in what you think is going to happen. So now's a really great time to make that prediction at home, see what you think is going to happen in this experiment. And when you're all finished with that, we can do the next part. Now with this part, you have to move kind of fast, and it's a little bit tricky. You want to make sure there's not too much baking soda around the edges of it. And then. You're going to snap it on and flip it over and wait. And sometimes you get a little bit splashed. This experiment's kind of messy, so it might be best to do it outside so mom and dad don't get too upset with you. So why did that crazy thing happen just now that's dripping down from my ceiling? It has to do with acids and bases. So, a base on the pH scale, something like a base would be baking soda. Baking soda, when it's mixed with an acid like vinegar, together has a chemical reaction. In this case, it created that CO2 or carbon dioxide. When acids and bases mix together, they neutralize each other, causing a, car or <laughs> causing a chemical reaction. In this case, that CO2 caused a bunch of gas buildup inside of the film canister, and when the pressure starts building and building and building and building, it has to escape somewhere. So the, pot, the bottom of the canister burst up to the ceiling. And that's why it's so important that we wear these safety goggles when we're doing it. In any experiment, there's something called a variable that you can change to make it a little bit different. In this case, the things that could be changed as variables could be the container we put it in, the ingredients that we put in, or the amount of the ingredients that we use. So we're going to try doing a couple of different variables here and see how it changes the experiment. It's very important when you're doing an experiment and changing variables to only change one at a time. If you change all the variables at the same time, then you won't really know what happened. So I think we're going to choose to change the amount of vinegar. That's probably the easiest one to change. So we have to make sure we do the same exact thing with the baking soda. Put it in the well. Scrape off all that extra. Spit on our finger, of course. Pat it down in there. so that we have about the same amount inside. So this time, we're gonna use a little bit less vinegar, only about a quarter. And 
then we'll try the experiment again. So remember, you don't want to be looking directly over this as you do it. Snap it on, flip it over, and we'll wait. So, it still made that really crazy explosion, even into my extra vinegar, but it took just a little bit longer. If we wanted to be really precise, we would use a stopwatch and see exactly how long it took. So, um, if after I've done that, that experiment using a little less vinegar, I can make a hypothesis about what will happen when I use more vinegar. So, if I use more vinegar, then the canister will, will burst even faster. Let's try one more time. Filling our well the exact same way that we've been doing it, keeping that variable consistent. Spinning on our finger again. Packing that in. Getting off all the extra so it snaps on nice and tight. And this time we're going to put three quarters of the way full. Snap on the top, flip it over, and I think it was faster than that second one, but we didn't use a stopwatch, so it's hard to be exactly sure. So, as you do this experiment at home, you can try changing those variables and actually timing it, maybe even changing the baking soda variable, just to see what happens. This experiment's a really great way to practice a scientific method using a hypothesis and following a procedure. Thanks for watching my video. Um, be sure to follow scientific method when you do the experiment at home. Remember, safety first, and have a blast!